China's burgeoning electric vehicle EV sector has been met with burgeoning safety concerns as the incidence of EV-related fire hazards and explosions has surged. Compounded by the aggressive adoption rate and government stimulus in China's automotive market, safety incidents have made both headlines and caused alarm among consumers and regulators alike. Eyewitness accounts and surveillance footage from various incidents across China reveal a disturbing pattern of EVs, combustible incidents, vehicles erupting into flames during normal charging processes or immediately after relatively minor collisions. Such was the case with a dramatic occurrence captured in a video showing a white-colored EV plugged in for charging, suddenly erupting in a massive explosion. The vehicle appeared to be propelled meters into the air by the sheer force of the explosion, with fragments resembling car doors being hurled from the epicenter. In another chilling account, an electric car in Hangzhou City instantly combusted after striking a toll booth, resulting in the tragic deaths of four passengers, which threw the spotlight on the propensity for nickel-manganese cobalt NMC batteries to thermal runaway, especially when subject to an impact. BYD, one of China's EV manufacturing frontrunners, has not been immune to these outbreaks of fire. Reports of a BYD sales center fire, where vehicles spontaneously ignited atop a building in Shenan, leaving a lasting image of dense, dark smoke towering over the structure, have further contributed to public safety concerns. These incidents underscore a pressing need for comprehensive reviews of battery safety standards and production oversight. The reason behind the observed volatility in Chinese EVs is a complex interplay of factors, ranging from the aggressive push for quick market expansion, sometimes at the expense of adequate quality control, to inherent risks associated with rapidly advancing battery technologies. For example, High-energy density batteries like the NMC811, which boast long driving ranges due to higher nickel content, are known to be more prone to instability and thermal events compared to their counterparts like lithium-iron phosphate LFP, batteries. China's focus on becoming a steadfast proponent of new energy vehicles has been shadowed by these safety concerns. As the world's largest market for EVs, addressing these issues is not just of national significance, but of global environmental and economic concern. Ensuring these vehicles can operate safely and dependably is imperative for the sustained growth of the EV industry in China and the protection of consumers who have embraced the future of automotive technology with enthusiasm. It is a critical juncture where vehicle safety must be firmly assured through rigorous testing, enhanced regulatory frameworks, and transparent communication between manufacturers, consumers, and safety authorities. Only through a concerted and transparent effort to mitigate these risks will confidence in China's electric vehicles be restored and their potential fully realized. China's electric vehicle industry confronts slowing expansion amid quality concerns. China's automotive industry, particularly the new energy vehicle, NAV sector, is navigating through turbulent waters as consumer market trends indicate a shift in the economic undercurrents. The once stellar growth trajectory of the Chinese NAV market is showing signs of strain with a noticeable softening of consumer purchasing power. This diminishing purchasing propensity is a reflection of broader economic headwinds and a growing hesitation among consumers to align with the price-to-quality ratio offered by the nascent industry. With a sizable array of electric vehicle options now available in the market, consumers are increasingly discerning in their choices, weighing the long-term value and reliability of their purchases. In a market where competition is intensifying, not only from domestic players but also from established foreign brands ramping up their electric offerings, Chinese NEVs face the critical challenge of proving their merit. Reports suggest that consumers are wary of committing to vehicles that have been marred by instances of safety concerns and technology malfunctions despite their environmental allure and government subsidies. The automotive industry landscape is particularly telling as traditional internal combustion engine vehicle sales dwindle, and the NEV sector, while growing, is not entirely immune to these broader market dynamics. 
The China Passenger Car Association's CPCA data corroborates the cooling trend, with the estimated wholesale NEV sales totaling 8.88 million units in 2023, which marked a notable expansion of 38% year-on-year, yet indicates a slowdown in growth in the second half of the year. This deceleration can be interpreted as a harbinger for an anticipated downturn in the industry. The NEV market's softening demand links to several intersecting factors. Firstly, the consumer confidence shaken by reported safety incidents may lead to heightened scrutiny when selecting vehicles, prompting a closer examination of whether the higher costs of electric vehicles equate to sufficient quality and safety. Price sensitivity among buyers is also more pronounced as economic factors, such as employment uncertainty and income fluctuations during a global economic slowdown, impact discretionary spending. Moreover, while Chinese manufacturers are investing heavily in technology to claim a larger slice of the global EV pie, there is an overarching concern that this rapid expansion may have eclipsed the rigorous quality control processes typically associated with mature automotive markets. Long-term durability, battery lifespan, and post-sales service quality remain areas of concern that could dissuade potential buyers. In the grand scheme of things, China's transition to an electrified automotive future is not without its puzzles and paradoxes. The government's incentivization measures and ambitious carbon neutrality goals juxtapose with the reality of an industry attempting to reconcile rapid growth with emerging consumer skepticism. Battery oversupply fears and EV quality concerns threaten China's energy ambitions. The lithium-ion battery sector, a cornerstone of the booming new energy industry, is teetering on the edge of a precipice as it confronts a slew of daunting challenges. Foremost among these is the looming threat of a battery catastrophe, a term coined to describe an unsustainable market expansion that may soon spiral into a problematic overcapacity. Triggered by a frenetic race to meet the ravenous demand for electric vehicles and energy storage solutions, manufacturers have aggressively scaled up production. Yet, this swift expansion is haunted by the specter of potential market saturation once supply outstrips demand, which could usher in a cascade of economic and environmental consequences. Complicating matters further is the dramatic collapse in futures prices of lithium carbonate, which has bludgeoned the financial health of battery manufacturers. Lithium, often referred to as white petroleum, has seen its value plummet, succumbing to the bears after reaching unprecedented heights. The zenith of the prices was seen in 2022, characteristically marked by supply shortages, which amplifies the stark contrast to the current trough. The price nosedive has been so severe that by December 5th, lithium carbonate futures hit their daily limit down, marking a new nadir since their listing and chalking up as the second consecutive session at the bottom end. This drastic reduction, an eye-watering 80% from its peak, has mercilessly eroded profit margins, pushing approximately a third of producers into operating at a loss. The contemporary landscape of lithium supply is a similarly dichotomous picture, while pivotal for the transition to a sustainable energy future, evidenced by tripling demand since 2017 and projected tenfold growth by 2050 under the IEA's net zero emissions scenario, it sits juxtaposed against a concerning backdrop. Reports and experts alike signal a disconcerting trajectory leading to a dire shortage. Benchmark mineral intelligence and financial institutions like Deutsche Bank predict debilitating supply deficits ranging from 300,000 TLCE to as much as 768,000 TLCE by 2030 if the business-as-usual scenario persists. Yet, even as these forewarnings echo through the corridors of the industry, reports have surfaced of lithium salt producers pumping the brakes on production and staring down the barrel of financial distress, an ominous sign that the consequences of the market's volatility are already manifesting. The status quo contrasts starkly from recent history's exuberance, where demand explosion from the EV market and concurrent energy storage boom had companies ramping up to a heady pace. Furthermore, the environmental footprint of scaling up battery production to such prodigious levels is raising alarm. 
With the majority of discarded lithium-ion batteries not being recycled, there arises a monumental concern over the adequate handling of this waste and its corresponding impact on ecosystems. China's cars are exploding left and right, thanks to shoddy manufacturing. The rapid industrial expansion in China and the aggressive adoption of electric vehicles, EVs, have been marred by a serious rise in incidents involving car explosions. Despite the relatively low probability, with one report mentioning a 0.17% chance of an individual electric car catching fire, the number of accidents reported in the media is alarming. Over two years, there were 86 reported electric vehicle fire accidents, averaging one incident per week, according to one source. In another reckoning by the Fire and Rescue Bureau, there have been 6,462 electric vehicle fire accidents to date, which suggests a troubling trend in vehicular safety. Electric vehicles, particularly lauded for their environment-friendly potential, have run into serious issues with battery safety. These vehicles are powered by lithium-ion batteries, which are at risk of thermal runaway, a condition that leads to an uncontrollable increase in temperature and pressure, leading to combustion. This has led to multiple reports of spontaneous vehicle fires, sometimes in the absence of collisions or other obvious external triggers. Gasoline-powered cars in China have also been imperiled by similar safety oversights. Collisions and accidents, which may ordinarily result in manageable damage, turn disastrous when they trigger infernos due to compromised structural integrity and substandard fuel systems. Intentional acts of deploying vehicles as explosive devices have been reported as well. A lack of rigorous security measures has enabled vehicles to be weaponized, causing harm and chaos, turning everyday consumer cars into tools of terror. Furthermore, the industrial sector which supports the automotive industry, encompassing not just the manufacturing of cars but also the transportation of chemicals and related materials, has seen its own share of catastrophic incidents. Factories and infrastructure involved in manufacturing and transportation have been sites of deadly blasts, adding to the statistics of vehicle-related explosions. The underlying cause of these incidents seems to lie in the gap between China's industrial ambitions and the enforcement of safety measures. Manufacturing processes often prioritize the speed and cost, efficiency over rigorous quality control, leading to compromised vehicle safety. In the absence of stringent and proactively enforced regulations, the market is flooded with vehicles that potentially carry significant risks to consumer safety. China's new energy crisis, international trade sanctions unsettle electric vehicle and renewable sectors. China's new energy industries are currently under heightened international trade scrutiny, with several sanctions being considered or already imposed, reflecting an intensified geopolitical climate where trade and human rights intersect with environmental ambitions. Particularly in focus is the European Union's pivotal move with an investigation initiated by the European Commission to assess whether EV manufacturers have received state subsidies that give them an unfair competitive advantage in the EU market. If the Commission finds substantive evidence of illegal subsidization, it could result in the implementation of punitive tariffs to protect EU producers and ensure a level playing field. As the Commission President Ursula von der Leyen highlighted in her State of the Union address, the global market is flooded with cheaper electric vehicles, the price of which is kept artificially low due to huge state subsidies. The probe, following a surge in EU imports of Chinese EVs, is not only a commercial matter but also a signal of the bloc's vigilance against practices that could distort the market. Across the Atlantic, the United States Department of Commerce has conducted investigations into Chinese photovoltaic companies. These firms face allegations of illegal dumping, selling products in the U.S. at an unfairly low price, and receiving illegal subsidies. This incited a Section 301 investigation and subsequent imposition of tariffs. Certain Chinese photovoltaic manufacturing companies found themselves on a U.S. blacklist due to credible evidence of utilizing forced labor in Xinjiang, an issue carrying significant moral implications beyond trade. 
The discourse on these trade imbalances isn't confined to the powerhouse economies of the EU and US. The United Kingdom has voiced its apprehensions over the dependency on Chinese solar imports. A report by the China Strategic Risk Institute in the UK Parliament articulated the concerns, with Conservative MPs like Alexander Stafford warning that China's actions could potentially stifle the global supply of solar technology. This import reliance exposes the UK not only to potential supply chain vulnerabilities, but also knotty human rights issues directly juxtaposed with its clean energy goals and net zero aspirations. Considering the solidity and breadth of the evidence available to international bodies, the present climate of investigations and sanctions brings to the fore the challenge that China faces in maintaining its cachet as a global leader in new energy industries. These international measures could pose a substantial barrier to exports from China's EV, lithium-ion battery, and solar industries, compounded by the financial and reputational risks these sanctions and investigations could bring. Concurrently, these industry challenges are happening against the backdrop of domestic issues within China's EV market, including safety incidents, declining consumer demands, and concerns over the quality and price of China's electric vehicles. The synchronization of domestic and international pressuries paints a complex picture for the future of China's new energy sectors, necessitating diligent navigation, accountability, and strategic adjustment to industry growth models and trade practices. Practices.